Greetings, I'm Ms. Kingsley and I'm going over Mountain Math Problems Set 8 for third grade, problems number six through nine in this video. And as always, the idea is that um, you do the problems first. So if you need to, pause the video and do that, do the problems ahead of me. Okay, number six, 16 divided by one. Well, any number divided by one is itself. So uh, we're gonna say the answer there is 16. It asks what number makes this equation true. So remember one times any number is also itself. Just to throw that in, we call that the identity property. Okay, let's go on to number seven. Oh, they gave us a pretty easy one for number seven this time. Okay, but is the equation true or false? Circle true or false? Is five times two equal to two times five? Well, you might remember that that is the commutative property, which says if our operation is all multiplication or all addition, we can change the order in which we do things. So this is definitely true. If you didn't remember the commutative property, you could have also just solved this. 5 times 2 is 10, and 2 times 5 is 10, and 10 is equal to 10. So in an equation, we want to know that all of what's on the left is has the same value of all of what's on the right, and this would also get us to true. Let's go on to number 8. Okay, here's our fill in the missing number from the table. And this is like our in and out uh, box where something happens to this number after it goes in before it comes out. So we need to look at our operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, try to figure out what's going on. Now the first thing we might see is this number is getting smaller. So we might try subtraction and say, ooh, 12 take away 10 is 2, but does that work on the next one? 18 take away 10, oops, not 3. So subtraction didn't work, it's getting smaller, so we can't use addition or multiplication, so it must be division. And then we just need to figure out what are we dividing these numbers by, and it turns out to be six. And we can check that to make sure it's true. So that means we're gonna divide six by six, and any number divided by itself gives us one. So our missing number is one. Okay, let's go on to number nine. About what does this weigh, a dime? And it gives us weights in grams, which is not what we're as accustomed to. We're used to pounds and ounces. So this is a hard one if you haven't yet studied um, these weight measurements, but we could probably eliminate at least one, which is this one, because kilo means a thousand times bigger. So that would be pretty big of whatever these weights are. So we're down to, is a dime 10 grams or two grams? And uh, if, as you learn more about grams, you might be able to get this, but the answer is two grams. So that gives you a good idea. A dime weighs about, not exactly, two grams. So we would write two grams down here. A kilogram would be much, much heavier, as I said, a thousand times bigger than a gram. Okay, that is our um, six through nine for today. And I hope that was helpful and I will see you next time.